Hey guys, today we're going to look at Green White Tokens, which is kind of the aggro deck. I don't want to say it's aggro because it's not in the traditional sense, but because the meta is very control, this is aggro enough. So Green White Tokens is $300 online, $573.91 on paper. It does tend to be a rather expensive deck, but that's because there's one card, Avacyn, that makes up the majority of the cost. Should that card go down a little bit, then the entire deck gets a lot cheaper because most of the deck isn't that expensive, minus the Avacyn's. Now, you have your Hangback Walkers, you have your Inspectors, which are actually, that's the one two that brings a clue with it. So it's actually interesting. Uh, you have your Advocates, your Archangel Avacyn, Oath of Nyssa, Secure the Waste, Dromoka's Command. It's very good in this deck. I'm very glad to see that the commands are still being played. Obviously, Colgan's I knew was a very good card, but Dromoka's Command, I figured after Abzin went away, it wouldn't be played anymore, but it's nice that it's in this deck. One Evolutionary Leap for Nyssa. Love Nissa in this type of deck. It really does um, produce the tokens you need. You don't need huge tokens. You just need O1s. A Status Snare and four Giddings Ally of Zendikar. So between your Nissas and your Giddings, you have eight cards. I guess your Secured Awaits too. You have 10 cards that are non-creatures that can generate creatures. Um, but your Hang Back Walker is very good. Your, I mean, it is... You're going to generate... A lot of creatures very fast but it's not the traditional aggro deck in the sense that you're going to beat your opponent by four and play a hell rider and just beat them it down this is kind of like aggro in the sense of you're going to keep up pressure from gideon's and nissa's and um, secure the waste um, and you keep up a very steady board presence until you can overwhelm your opponent which happens more times than not with this type of deck and archangel alvison is a blowout this is a blowout. Next, you have your lands. You have your Canopy Vista, your Seven Forest, your Four Fortified Village, your Seven Plains, and your free West Vale Abbey. West Vale Abbey is very good with Nyssa and token generation. And it's a card that I really under seemed underwhelming when I first looked at it, but it's incredible. One Secure to Waste, two Clip Wings, free Declaration in Stone. Another Evolutionary Leap, a Landholt Pacifist, a Quarantine Field, the first time I've seen this one, one Sigarda Heron's Grace. I believe that is a mistake because that's not played right now. <laughs> Free Tragic Arrogance, which is very good, and one Lavana. Lavana is a lot better than she looks, and I've seen her do a ton of work from behind. So the deck is very good. Not traditional aggro, but I think it does enough to justify why it's in the top eight. I think it's just a great deck. Very expensive. Uh, you do have eight Planeswalkers, and then you have four Avacyns, but the most of the price is based on the Avacyns. Anyway, bye guys.